Welcome back. Today I'm a little bit uh, later, so I'm so sorry about that. Because we have a um, little bit trouble with uh, our uh, tools. Uh, today I am going to tell you and show you a collection uh, for children, especially aged from 5 to 10. Now let's look at this comfortable sweater. It's knitted and for this uh, sweater we uh, used uh, three or four colors and beads and of course uh, uh, leftover yarns. And let's look at the back side. This is the back. And the bottom part. I think is um, decorated with crochet trim. So, here how it looks at this section. So let's look at the next, uh, yes, and uh, the upper part, a, a small collar, also made with crochet hook and uh, different colors, yellow color uh, and uh, white, white, yellow and green color. So, hello all people who join it. Next time um, I will tell you uh, more about yarn, um, different kinds of yarn. Uh, hi again. And we continue working uh, hello hello so uh, we I continue just okay uh, Let's look at this uh, tunic or a dress. It depends what age it, what uh, age it your baby. It can be three or four years and it can be seven. Also, uh, this tunic is knitted and uh, use two colors, gray and pink. And for bottom part, oh, we used a cute pattern and trim, of course, uh, made with crochet hook. And here how the sleeve look like. For, uh, for the clothes we uh, uh, must use a uh, very cozy and comfortable yarn. Let's look at uh, this tunic or uh, for this one uh, you need to do a lot of uh, floral motifs uh, while creating these motifs you need to join them together in large piece of work a lot of motifs uh, can be found on our youtube channel and 
a playlist can be found okay i am online yes i am online sorry and uh, uh, for uh, such cute motifs so we uh, join it two colors white and yellow and for uh, upper part we created with we created color simple color with double crochet stitches and uh, for a small sleeve we used a one two three four five six seven eight eight uh, small floral motifs it's front and this is the back side this uh, crochet blouse or tunic uh, was made with uh, yeah, cotton yarn sorry acrylic yarn and uh, uh, work with crochet hook and actually I don't know how many yarn you need for this one uh, for the next uh, uh, set we uh, used fluffy yarn it's uh, here how it's the prompt Uh, this side made in lace, in lace technique, work with a sewing needle and thread, and of course uh, crochet motifs and elements. How to join uh, a, a more motifs? Can be uh, you will see on our um, Romanian point lace technique. Uh, they are uh, so. Uh, okay. But I think I showed you before. <laughs> Mom, say hello. <laughs> Come in. No. Yeah, it's, it's okay. No, it's, it's okay. Okay. You're set. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how to join them uh, together with help with sew one needle? You will see in Romanian point lace technique. Uh, I think it's a five or nine parts it's uh, called uh, brides where you uh, with help of the brides you can use crochet motifs and elements also let's look at uh, round trim made with uh, also uh, double crochet stitches and let's look at the plucky yarn so it's very warm and a little bit stretchy. It's very colorful and shine and of course funny. Now I show you the head in this in this technique, in the same technique, uh, yes. Here how it looks crown, uh, the straight part oh, with such round elements. Uh, zoom please. Um, for the zoom uh, you need to um, uh, click in uh, to the setting and uh, choose your quality of video. If you have a trouble with zoom and quality of video, please um, use this uh, use the city of the video. Uh, no, I'm uh, <laughs> not uh, Elena. I'm Maria. 
uh, Elena uh, will be coming later. Just say hello. Okay, Elena, <laughs> you are <Yes>. late. <laughs> Oh, uh, I have uh, uh, around technique. Uh, you you wear in, yes. you wear yeah, sweater in iron technique. I like crochet. Uh, I, I, uh, I like to crochet around technique. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we continue. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> It's beautiful. Oh, right. uh, let's look at uh, the sleeve. And uh, the upper part consists of uh, cables. Three, yeah, three four, four cables. Mm -hmm. So we continue talk about uh, clothes for children, mm -hmm. especially head. Mm -hmm. And motif and uh, have tutorial. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. So, bye. <laughs> so uh, we continue. Uh, I continue show you uh, the trim, trim uh, and the crown. Join it with help of the such round uh, elements or motifs. It's uh, also ah, it's, uh, <laughs> yes. It's I cute. feel beautiful. It's a beautiful dress, uh, dress for a uh, toddler, made in uh, Irish, uh, Irish lace technique. Beautiful, made in three colors: blue, yellow, and white. Mm -mm. Pink, and pink. Uh -huh. Sorry, and decorated with. Beads, beads, yes, beads and yeah. buttons. Sorry, mm -hmm. not beads, buttons. Okay. okay, we continue. Thank you so much for uh, comments. And I continue. Uh, uh, you will see how to make it in our video tutorial 90, I think 90, yeah. And this uh, video tutorial, tutorial yes. Well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's look at the back side. Actually, all information uh, you will uh, heard about, um, you will hear in the video tutorial. Uh, how many uh, motifs you need and how to join them. So please, um, the link will be in the description of this uh, live video. And very easy. Yes, it's very mm -hmm. easy and of course for uh, this uh, one you need to mm -hmm. buy uh, four uh, buttons. Okay, and uh, let's uh, let's <laughs> show us this your Barrett. Uh, baby Barrett uh, hat mm -hmm. made in also Irish lace in technique. Irish lace technique. Mm -hmm. Source of your yarn, oh, do you source the yarn? About uh, yarn, I will tell you uh, in the next live video. Oh, we, mm, I will tell you more information about sources and... Uh, and I like uh, mercerized uh, cotton. Yes, Mama uh, would like to prefer uh, mercerized cotton. Yes. Work with uh, such kind of yarn. And uh, acrylic yarn. Baby acrylic. Uh, in most of uh, cases for this collection, uh, we used uh, baby acrylic yarn because it's yes. very cozy. Uh, this one made uh, 
of cotton yarn. Mercerized. Mercerized cotton yarn. Also, uh, how many motifs and how to join them and crochet the collar can be found uh, in the ins video instruction. Yes. And how to crochet such instead of beads. It's easy. It's very easy so you can uh, crochet for your newborn baby. And we continue uh, we continue with this uh, jacket. It's uh, very adorable but um, this one uh, I like it because uh, it's um, the pattern is very fun and uh, uh, make in uh, spring, I think, uh, in spring uh, style. Pattern uh, is uh, floral, floral made of uh, small strings, strings, uh, string, uh, string, how it looks like, Okay, <laughs> let's stop uh, and let's look at the other part. Uh, just uh, the front, uh, sorry, uh, the upper part uh, consists of just uh, double crochet stitches and this is the back. And For this model, we use four beads. See how a uh, sleeve looks like. And of course, uh, Master uh, may, uh, created it with a variegated yarn. So, uh, and for summer, if you would like to uh, use such kind of yarn, uh, you can create with uh, such blouse or it can be t-shirt for uh, bigger older uh, sorry older child this cotton and acrylic uh, 50 50 uh, okay yarn uh, mama told uh, me that mom told me uh, that uh, yarn in this case in this case, a uh, floral uh, pattern uh, in the bottom part, like a trim, and for the upper part. I didn't know you will, you, okay, you will see. Uh, for the middle part, uh, we used a uh, mesh, like a uh, small squares. It's uh, made with knitting needles, uh, with uh, small bubbles, and the bottom part you can decorate with a small applique or just uh, crochet and put flowers, or just uh, so uh, small motifs. Let's look at the back. Here you can see the uh, flowers. And uh, the sleeve created with a uh, with small cables pattern made in Aran Technique. Uh, not in Aran Technique. Mm. Cable. Ah, it's just cable, okay. Just uh, small cables for small sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Actually, I like uh, this one. It's a uh, set with a uh, headband. A in uh, it's quad for uh, aged three or four years. 
or five five years old. Uh, for uh, baby different uh, can be uh, different. It depends what the yeah. child. Uh, for this model, we used fluffy yarn. It's very um, <laughs> cozy, <laughs> cozy, yeah. cozy, and uh, and decorated with cables words and of course uh, adorable uh, trim with fluffy yarn so uh, for this we uh, for this collection this that's all this is the last one and the next time it will be the next uh, Wednesday I hope uh, uh, no, please. Uh, okay. uh, you can wear yes uh, some uh, some your models that you like. Yes. Because in the previous time we uh, don't have enough time to uh, show our uh, people our uh, fans uh, more uh, uh, more. Uh, cardigan with uh, in this case it will be cardigan with spirals uh, also a lot of spirals can be found uh, on our facebook page or um, YouTube, uh, youtube channel playlist uh, crochet trim and edging yeah uh, and i continue uh, reading your comments Beautiful green sweater, yeah. Uh, okay, let's look at the uh, cardigan with uh, Irish lace uh, technique, uh, made in Irish lace technique, and and, uh, and uh, with knitting needles, uh, using also uh, decorated with spiral. How to crochet spiral? You will uh, see in our videos here how the back side looks like. Uh, for Irish lace, you need to make a picture in a real size, then put motifs on the picture and to join them together with help of the mesh and uh, create uh, the uh, trim for the sleeves and the, uh, for the collar. Uh, yarn 50 wool, 50 uh, uh, acrylic. In uh, for this model, we uh, must use 50. Uh, so let's look at the yellow one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Next uh, video. <laughs> no, no, no. We have uh, time. <laughs> Yes, we have time, uh, only 24 minutes, so... We'll, yes, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> knitting. Uh, uh, the next one will be made with uh, knitting needles and warm yarn wool. It's wool. Uh, uh, wool and acrylic. Is it, uh, wool and acrylic, yeah, for the next one. Hello, hello everyone. Um, uh, it's okay. Here, how let's look at the uh, this piece. This is a uh, nice pattern made with knitting needles, and of course, I think it's a uh, yeah, cable and uh, big branch with bubbles. Uh, so, uh uh, guys, if you are late, uh, you will see uh, the beginning uh, later. Uh, la uh, later, uh, after uh, I finish the live broadcast. So, you will see when you have a time. I go? Uh, you can go, <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, oh. So, uh, oh. <laughs> Mm, so okay. next time uh, you will uh, see, uh, actually I don't know uh, what the, will be the topic for the next time, but uh, I'm thinking... Summer clothes. 
uh, yes, uh, it, uh, I think it's a uh, very beautiful um, idea if we show you the clothes for spring and summer mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's March and uh, some people I see prepared for summer, summer season. So uh, next time we will sh uh, I show you the uh, ideas for the some season, summer season and <laughs> um, uh, kinds of yarn and what yarn uh, uh, studio prefer. So uh, please uh, be careful, careful, uh, take care of yourself and your families. If you don't have a hobby, uh, please uh, find something for yourself. If you don't crochet and knitting uh, and you would like to learn, please visit our Facebook page and YouTube channel. There are a lot of video tutorials. Uh, and um, of course crochet with us and see you on next Wednesday bye it was Maria from Milena Rogel Studio bye